welcome to IDTV. This is the premiere show of 2011 and we're very excited about it. I'm Stephanie Chong. And I'm Rudy Solis. We'll be your hosts for what will be three half-hour shows this season. We'll also be helped out by Jordan Fowler and John Jordan out in the field. And KN Recede will host a Best of SF segment. We're coming to you from City College of San Francisco's brand new broadcasting studio. That's right, and let me tell you, this place is awesome. We're lucky here in San Francisco to be part of a diverse community, and our show will reflect it. Today, we have an IDTV field report from the premiere of the San Francisco Green Film Festival. And an interview with festival founder, Rachel Kaplan. We also have a green quiz question and stories on sustainable food systems, a unique San Francisco art gallery, and much, much more. And we're closing the show with a musical performance by local musician Brad Brooks. That's fantastic. Let's get going. Steph, uh, what do you plan on doing with that bottle of yours? Well, is this a trick question? No, seriously. Well, I'm going to toss it in that blue bin. Yes, that's the green answer. And on that note, let's check out what Jordan Fowler found happening at the Green Film Festival. that paper cups are recyclable? They're not. They are lined on the inside with polyethylene. And polyethylene is not recyclable and it's not very compostable either because who wants to eat polyethylene? The San Francisco Green Film Festival is the first of its kind on the West Coast. Organizers put together a lineup of over 70 films that explore the topic of living sustainably on our planet. Beyond educating audiences about important environmental issues, the hope is that it will inspire attendees to take action. I think the film is a very immediate and accessible, entertaining and powerful way to reach out to audiences and inspire them to uh, become environmental activists uh, and get involved in creating a more sustainable planet. The opening night feature, Bag It, explores the struggle we face to reduce or ban our use of plastic bags. Uh, um... Uh, the legislator who banned plastic bags uh, in San Francisco a few years ago. Uh, we have the distinct honor of being the first city uh, in the United States to doing so. During the four-day festival, attendees split their time between the Embarcadero's landmark cinema and the Bentley Reserve, a facility known for its eco-friendly amenities. <laughs> After the screening, guests were led to the Bentley Reserve for a green carpet gala and celebration, concluding opening night ceremonies. Canadian filmmaker Sean Walsh was on hand for Friday night's U.S. premiere of his film, Hauling. In Brazil, um, there, we're, we're receiving a lot of requests from schools in particular that want to show the film to their, to the, to their teachers that want to show the film to their students. And um, so it's, it's just about, it's sort of a grassroots movement, it's word of mouth. The film doesn't have a sales agent yet. And so all these festivals that we're getting into and the awards we're winning are, are due to the, the film itself and, and, uh, and the story. Bananas, Frederick Gurton's controversial documentary focusing on a legal case between a dozen Nicaraguan banana plantation workers and Dole Food Corporation was another festival highlight. Carl A. Fechner's The Fourth Revolution Energy Anatomy served as a festival closer and explores the topic of new opportunities provided by the energy revolution. Believe at your American dream. I mean, you have, for the whole world, you have been something like, uh, like, a, like the power nation. Yeah? The American dream, liberty and all that, which, which is in something American. Yeah? You need a new dream. The San Francisco Green Film Festival has certainly proved that it's worthy of our attention by presenting inspiring films that have created a path for discussion between media arts and environmental advocacy. For IDTV, I'm Jordan Fowler. This is today's Green Quiz question. What is the new name of the company which collects curbside landfill, recycle, and compost in San Francisco? Think about it. We'll give the answer later in the show. I'm here with Rachel Kaplan, founder of the San Francisco Green Film Festival. 
Hi, Rachel. Welcome to IDTV's first show. Hi, Rudy. Great to be with you here in the studio. So what initiated the San Francisco Green Film Festival? What started it? Well, really, uh, when we've been talking to people about this project the last year, they can't believe there isn't a San Francisco Green Film Festival here in San Francisco, where we know we're the heart of the global green movement. And also, we love our film festivals and coming out and seeing independent films. Um, and I was working for another festival. And at that time, filmmakers were sending me films about mining and farming and mountain beetles um, and rainforests. And it really um, kept asking, where can we show these films here in the Bay Area? So it just seems the right time for this festival. And it's been great work bringing this project together. Nice. Um, yeah. What do you expect now that audiences have gone and they've seen the film festival? What do you hope that they take out of it? Uh, we were trying to keep away from typical doom and gloom films and a lot of preaching and talking heads. And the stories these filmmakers um, are creating are really about inspiring people, doing work and making a difference. Uh, and we hope that audiences will come and be inspired to find out more or get involved with the work of one of our partner organizations, the many nonprofits here in the Bay Area, and that we can um, inspire a real, some real environmental activism here in the Bay Area. Nice, nice. And so, um, I mean, with that in mind, what is the future for the San Francisco Green Film Festival? Planning's already underway for our next festival in March 2012. We're also screening films from the festival at the Civic Center Earth Day. Uh, event on April 23rd. We'll be there in a dome on Civic Center Plaza screening films all day. Uh, and we're working on other films throughout the year. So sign up for our, on our mailing list and uh, come and see some great movies. Sweet. Awesome. Well, I definitely look forward to seeing it. Thank you for being on the show. Thanks, Rudy.